Today I'm going to be taking out my hair extensions and showing you how I move them up. So, I'll show you the products that we use. So I use this, which is meant to remove like the tape from your hair so you're not pulling it out. And then, I do need to go get more of these tomorrow. I will run to Sally's and get them. And they're just hair extension replacement tapes. And it comes with 70 of them pre-cut. And so I need 40 of them, so I have to go get another one. Um, but I'm going to fast forward me taking them out. I will just take them out layer by layer. And then I will have to take a shower after because of this. It is just, um, it's just a mineral spray and plant paste, natural plant based oils, which is just like essential oils that I'm putting in my hair that reduces it. And then I will be replacing them tomorrow after I've gone and got these because I do want to give my hair just a little bit of time to settle in and like go through it. And then I'm also probably going to get a hair treatment thing to build, get rid of the buildup on my hair because when I do uh, use my hair extensions, I use quite a few products. Um, I have this, which is my leave-in conditioner, and it really helps. And then, of course, you always use your heat protectant spray. And then, to keep the shine going, I use this rice water shine spray um, just to keep it in. And then, I also do have my detangler that I use to detangle my hair. Um, if you do use the leave-in conditioner, make sure you're not getting it up here by the roots. So that way when you do wash your hair, you're not getting conditioner in the hair extensions and help it. when you do that, it makes the hair extensions fall out. So let's get right into the fast forward of me taking them out. So I'll see you the next time I speak. Okay, so if you get this, it comes with a spray, but I'm not exactly sure where the spray thing is. So I found another top, and I'm just going to use this, and it will come out of this part, and then I'm just going to put it on these. If you are having a hard time getting it um, like hooked together, if you rub it back and forth, it will get it. So that way you don't have to add a little bit more, but sometimes you will. And in this case, I might have to, but I'm going to keep trying to get it out without having to add more. Because it does take a minute or so to activate and get in there. And also, if you need help, definitely get someone else to help you do this. Um, I've helped quite a few friends in my past take them out, and we did not use this stuff, and it pulls out so much of your hair, so please get 
the stuff to take out of your hair because you want to keep as much hair as you possibly can during the process because when you do take it out all of the hair that has been attached to it for I leave mine in for about a month or so you'll lose about this much per thing that you get and at the end I will show you how much I lost over time just from natural shedding of the hair Also, I do use my nails to do this, and if you do not have nails, you can definitely use just your regular nails or your pieces that you have. And then this was the other side that I pulled out. I know this is kind of gross, but you do lose some as you have these in. Um, just over time and then I like to put them back together so that way I have the pair because I have mine cut to different lengths and then oh I guess I do have another one here process checkup videos. I still have a few on this layer, but I've gotten this one out, so yeah. Okay, so we're doing the check-in, and I've done the second layer. Wow, my hair is so thin. But yeah, this is the second layer done. Now we're gonna go on to the next layer. So I'm gonna do another checkup. This is completely out, and then this has the hair extensions, and as you can see, it's only a couple inches longer on the top layers, but yeah, my hair has grown out a lot. It's very greasy right now because of the stuff I put in. And another thing I wanted to add is get a comb. You're going to have to clean it after, but you're going to use this to go through and get all of the extra like goo and stuff that sticks in your hair and stays there after you take it out. But once you do that, you'll have like freshly, like cleaner hair without goo in it. So yeah, I'll do another checkup when these are out. Okay, so I have finished taking out all my hair extensions. My hair is super short and I am not a fan, but luckily they're gonna get pulled back in tomorrow. So I'm going to I don't know. My hair doesn't need to be touched up, so that's a good thing because the last time I did my hair, I did them with the extensions in because I know it wouldn't affect them. All I had to do was like re dye the ends, but um, yeah. So I did lay them all out in the different layers. And yeah, so those different layers are the layers that I'm going to do when I put them back in my hair. But yeah, this is the amount of hair that I lost taking them all out. Um, I think it's a pretty good amount for having them in for like a month and you lose like 60 pieces of hair per day. But I'm going to hop in the shower and then I will pick it up tomorrow when I run to Sally's to go get the tapes. Okay, so I just got out of my second shower. I did run to Sally's and I got the sulfate free cleansing shampoo and it gently removes heavy buildup and it's by Can Tune, I think. I don't know, it's like a shell butter thing. So I got this to cleanse my hair it already feels so much better um i will show the final results of it dry just because 
yeah so you guys can see what's going on with it um if you do use it remember to follow the instructions because you do have to rinse it out with cold hair like cold water i don't know why i just said hair and then also while i was at sally's i went and got more of these so i can put in my hair extensions so yeah um stay tuned and i will do a another checkup when my hair is completely dry i'll see you then okay so i definitely definitely recommend this product it is not sponsored though but my hair has never ever felt this soft since like before i started dyeing my hair so yeah i definitely recommend this it is still a little bit uh wet because i do like to leave my hair a little damp when i do blow dry it so that way it's not breaking off any ends or creating split ends just by drying it too much but like i don't have any split ends right now i mean this part is a little bit frizzy but that's because i blow dried it and it is super bleached compared to this part which i just dye darker and this part i dye lighter um but yes so i'm going to straighten my hair i think or like something but i did end up blow drying it without product and the only thing i've put in my hair is the shampoo and a i have a uh sulfate free and also silicone free shampoo and conditioner but i only did the conditioner and it's like a hydrating uh conditioner so yeah i did use that and my hair is so short but it's also so long so yeah um i'm going to get ready for the day and i am also going to add in my hair extensions after i get it um actually i'm going to i don't know i'll either add my hair extensions before or after i do my makeup so yeah i will figure that out later but yeah there's a lot of noise in the background so i'm going to leave it at that and i just recommend this product my hair's never felt softer so yeah okay so i'm going to straighten my hair i literally just like can't stop touching it because it's just like so soft like i have really thin hair and i never realized how thin it was until i like washed it like this is one side like with a little bit of a twist like whoa it's so shiny and it literally looks so healthy oh my gosh but i'm going to straighten it and i'm also going to use my <laughs> heat protectant that i have and i'm just going to fast forward it and yeah when i come back my hair will be straight and then I will start working on the hair extensions. I don't know if I'm going to straighten them first or put them in my hair, but I probably will straighten them. So, yeah. Okay, so now that my hair is all straight, I've done it, you can really see how much that helped my hair now that it's like straight and yeah, but I'm going to start putting in the extensions and I will show you step by step on how I did do it. I did learn this technique from a YouTube video, I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but it you know, if you look at it, there's a, quite a few different ways. And this is the way that I found was the easiest for me to do by myself and not have to worry about it pulling on my hair or my roots and pulling out my hair um, just from it getting put on my head. So yeah, I will show you the step-by-step -step that I'm going to do and yeah. Okay, so now that my hair is all straight, I've done it, you can really see 
how much that helped my hair now that it's like straight and yeah but i'm going to start putting in the extensions and i will show you step by step on how i did do it i did learn this technique from a youtube video i'm not exactly sure which one it is but it you know if you look at it there's a, quite a few different ways and this is the way that I found was the easiest for me to do by myself and not have to worry about it pulling on my hair or my roots and pulling out my hair um, just from it getting put on my head. So yeah, I will show you the step by step that I'm going to do and yeah. So before I start inserting them, they do have a little bit of a crinkle in the hair from when I uh, braided my hair and they also are kind of oily from when I did my the oil to take it out of my hair so I think I'm going to wash them first before I insert them into my hair and then blow dry them and I will get back to you as that and they are done in their sections so I'm going to leave them in their sections as I wash the hair. Okay, so I have washed the hair extensions. They look like this. They're still in their bundles. Of course I took out the bobby pin as I washed them. I did use the um, product, the shampoo that I had just got to take off any debris or whatever is was on them so they're like nice and fresh and clean and now that I'm going to blow dry them straight and see how straight we can get them and then from there I will decide if I'm going to straighten them or just put them straight into my hair. So yeah. Okay, so I have finished blow drying all of them and they are straight. I might go through and straighten the ends a little bit, but I don't know. But, um, the, I showed a little clip of how I do it. And, um, if you do angle it a little bit more like the blow dryer like this, you can blow more air down it instead of it being straight down just to get more of the angle to brush it because you only have two hands so you have to either have these being held by something or in order to brush it to get it to the straightness but now i'm going through and i'm going to be adding these the tapes these are my other ones so that way i will have more for next time and then i'm just going to put it on both of them and then I will start applying them to my hair and I will show you that like I explained earlier in the video. Okay, so I just showed you how I did the first bundle and you basically just do that for all of them and over time it like the more you use them it will build up layers. I usually only try to do one to two layers and then I take that essential oil stuff that takes them out of your hair and I use that and I thoroughly clean them until they are like basically brand new and then you can put on new ones of these. You do want to put one on both sides. When I take them out of my hair, I like to stick them together. So that way I have each section that goes in each spot of my hair for each layer. And then, yeah, that's basically all you have to do. And so I'm going to do all, do the rest of these off camera. And then I will pick it back up when I got to put them in my hair. See you then. Okay, so I parted my hair for the first section. And when you do the first section, you're gonna wanna make sure it's two fingers, like width, 
so that way you can hide it but you also want it to be low enough where you cannot see this layer very well so i'm going to start with this one i don't know if i'm going to put two or four in this section i might just put two here and then two on the next layer but you also want to make sure that it's two like away from here and i'm going to show an up close of these top ones so i'm just going to fast forward doing these but i did want to mention these few things that you need to know when you are first starting putting in your hair extensions and layering them um there are several types of ways you can do it you can do it straight across you can do it in like a kind of crown shape um and those are really good for like ponytails but personally i am not a big fan of it because of the way it grows out and then like they start twisting a lot easier and it just like doesn't work very well for me so i do it straight across Okay, so I've gone through and I added the first layer, and you can't see them with my other hair, and it just looks like this in the back. I know it was upside down, but um, they just put in there, and then I only did the two, so I'm going to separate it, and then I'm going to put two of the big ones. And then these small ones in the middle for the part because it does get a bit of a thicker area that I have to cover. So that is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I added the next section. And when you do each section, you only want to do like a centimeter of hair. So it's like not super thick. And you can't see the last layer when you do this one. So that way, um, it's just like a super blended, like, blended to your hair. Just so that way it's easier. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what layer I'm on, but I just did this layer. And I'm going to show you how I did it again. Because this layer, when I get up here by like a little bit on top of this earpiece. I definitely do do it differently. So I'm going to place my camera here again. And the first one I take is my small one, which I usually put in the middle. So I take this one and I put it right here. And then I bring, I separate it, like so, and then I take off the piece on the other one. And then I just put the other one right underneath it and match it up so that way this one is right here so that way it can sit kind of in front of your ear so like it's like this and then it just blends in with the rest of your hair and then on this layer I take two more and I put them right next to each other So, I hope that you can see those. I'm pretty sure you can. Here. That one. Okay. So, I'm just taking off these pieces. And you take it. And I like to put my hair back when I'm doing these back pieces. You find this piece. And you make sure you get it a couple, like a centimeter away 
we're like half a centimeter away. And I like to put my pinky on the line so that way I can fill it. Just so that way I'm not putting it exactly on the part. So that way it can move up and down. Then you just take the other piece. And I definitely do use a lot of my senses of being able to feel where it is going to get it in line instead of relying on a mirror because then you can just feel it and you can make sure it's all nice and good. And yeah. And then I will go through and I'll put the next one. I will make sure my hair is parted to put these in my hair. And then those are placed and I can separate my hair and you don't feel any of them or see any of them right there. And that is how I do it. And then after I put them in, I like to brush through just to make sure I'm brushing each layer and there are no pieces like tangling up with each other. So this is how it's looking like right now and it is very blended. Obviously that's my first layer, but okay. Are you ready for the results? Here they are. These are the results of my hair extensions. I am literally completely in love. I ended up doing one less bundle than I normally do, which is only four extensions, but I wanted the top to be more of a flowy kind of vibe going on here. So that's what I did. And then, yeah, I hope that you guys liked this video. And yeah, it is very fun to do videos like this where I'm just doing what I normally do and I'm just filming them for you guys so you guys can see what I do because when I did post my first hair extension videos I did get comments um on my Instagram about where I got them and so that's why I did say where I got them in the first video but I did show you guys this time so that way um you guys know how to put them in and you can get them looking really well. I do take did take them out to like about right here just to have it blend in with my hair and you can't really tell a difference because I did cut them into layers. So, yeah. Um I will I want to like figure out some more content that I can post like more inspirational content that I can post. Um, because I do a lot of spiritual healing and I go through a lot of different things that I don't really talk about online, but that's okay. Um, but I can do more of like my calmer days because I do want to get into more of just like the quiet, peaceful, like nature videos. Maybe I'll go on a hike. I'm really excited for where, when spring comes around because that is one of my favorite months especially because it is the time that I was born and so yeah it just like energizes me and makes me want to get out and go do things so yeah um during the springtime expect more outdoor videos instead of me just being inside um but yeah I hope you guys like this video um and that you guys are liking my content please give me a like or subscribe if you guys do like the content or you know what put like a, a rose the rose emoji in down in the comments if you are liking the video like if you're liking all of the content um mainly this video but yeah content works too so yeah if you guys have any requests put them down in the comments below and yeah, 
I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. Know you are never alone and you always have people to talk to. I'm here and I know there are many people out on the platform that are. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I'm sending you off with lots of peace and love. Oh my gosh, I always mess it up. Okay, I'm sending you off with peace and love. And yeah, I hope you guys come back and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!